Here we go, guys. Look at this. Squashing an onion with a car. It's the greatest way to make you not cry. No, I'm only joking. It was rubbish and it didn't work. But uh, luckily I had the onion in a plastic bag. So, um, you know, we're still able to use it, which was the point. Yeah, I still cried like a big wuss. So anyway, that didn't work. So, uh, yeah, don't try that. So there we go. We're chopping it all up. And this is for our yummy seafood laxa. I do love a laxa. It's just like the yummy red curry base and a noodle soup, plenty of coconut milk in there, and lots of flavours, heaps of flavours. So here we go, we got the basics, the onion, the ginger, the garlic's in the curry paste, which uh, we'll be doing later. But there we go, there's just some veggies, I steam those separately, I find that easier when I'm cooking for everyone. I don't fill up the bowl with veggies as I'm cooking, I can just do those separately. So there we go, with a broccoli cut nice and small, it makes it cook quickly, and uh, that's the way my kids like it. So um, if yours don't eat broccoli, it's all uh, possibly worth a go as well. So there we go, that's enough of the broccoli, all done. And we got next we got the pak choy and the curry paste. You see here, coming up, we've got the curry paste ice cubes, which I've made in another video. They're so easy to make, you can freeze them, and um, yeah, you just use as many as you like. This was a mild one. I put more curry paste in at the end for myself. I did a bit more on the side to make mine a bit stronger. But there's all our normal little bits that we love in our Thai food. I can't resist putting a bit of fish sauce in there. That gives the salty flavour without actually adding just normal salt. So we've got our seafood mix, just prawns, little calamari squid rings, uh, mussels and a little bit of fish. On the side, I've got my fine rice noodles cooking. So there we go. Oh, got to have your lime leaves in it. And last, we add our coconut milk, and then we lay the pak choy on top just to steam. It could be pak choy, bok choy, whatever you use. I think they're all fairly close. So that maybe that's just me. Maybe can, someone can let me know what the difference is. But here we go. Look at that. All ready to serve up. It was really quick to cook. You know, I was struggling to uh, hold it all back until the rice noodles are ready to tell you the truth but here we go yum yum especially for winter nice hot noodle soup hope you enjoy and uh yeah give it a go and thanks for watching bye